100 hours trying to learn a 3D modeling software called Blender. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how. I think it's a cool idea if I kind of record the process of that guitar because I just started watching the Splendor video. Donut, of course. And I like it. You give an artist Blender and then learn it to perfection. And you will do amazing things. And you will like to spend a lot of time on it. And this is building as well, so I can build on YouTube as well. I'm kind of having the mindset to develop in the past months or years kind of staying two years at home then get new perspectives and I kind of have the mindset of that everything that I don't know now but other humans know is just a question of how much invested time to get this knowledge of how something functions. Long story short, I will learn now Blender, 30th November 2022. <laughs> The last time I didn't say it, the year, but I think that's obvious. <laughs> Let's go! Run, run. It is the 7th December, 1538. Tomorrow is my birthday. Constantly learning. It's so amazing what you can do here. Like I'm bringing these notes in all, all of the time I'm learning right now. And what you can do here, like... <laughs> I don't fully understand it yet, but the possibilities of spending pretty much time in learning, writing down everything, learning stuff, even going a bit into programming. The thing is, I'm getting very tired. I'm, yeah, nothing else the whole day. Tomorrow, birthday, and I will learn Blender, yay! But it's worth it, and I'm so, so fulfilled. Like, I'm, I'm predicting this while doing this. I understand a lot of things, and it's definitely not the, the reaching of a goal, it's the process. In this tutorial, we're going to model, rig, animate and render a mechanical creature. So as much fun as making things is, we all know that destroying things is often way more fun. So, step aside Michael Bay, in this Blender tutorial you In this tutorial, we're going to model and rig four robotic arms, and then we're going to attach them to the back of this animated character. There are no space battles and giant space stations yet. That's lame, NASA. And then I remember that I'm a 3D artist, so why don't I upgrade some of NASA's stuff? And maybe I can inspire some of the VFX artists.
Okay, part two of me trying to explain how to make a shot like this in, in free open source software Blender, and uh, today is green screening. Here we go. So I'll have a proper tutorial on how to keep green screens in Blender at the end here, because look, okay, in the composite, Hey everyone, this is Ryan King, and welcome to this introduction video to this Blender tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to create this sci-fi robot drone animation in Blender EV. Okay, rigging, it, it's really straightforward. So, so you add your armature, and then extrude your mech leg or whatever, and add the control mode. In pose mode, select the control bone, then shift click on the bone you want to control, hit shift I, you've got your I can it's, it's that easy. I'm a 3D artist and I record this.
job and I see you're hiring. Yeah, do you have any experience? Oh, no, uh, I just graduated. Sorry, I can't help you. What do you mean? You need experience. I, I need a job to get experience. No, you need experience to get a job. That's why I'm here. We have jobs here, not experience. Then where do I get the experience? Go work and you'll get it. How much experience do I need? 10 years. das Gelenk mit. Ich muss noch mit dem, mit dem Gürtel ein bisschen gucken, aber das hier ist schon niedlich. Das kann sich unabhängig hier jetzt rausdrehen. So, das geht folgendermaßen hier. Ich ist irgendwie jetzt geschafft, dass dieses Knochen endlich die Rotation von dem hier kopiert, aber nur auf der Y-Achse. Team. Wenn das hier klappt, dann das ist so magisch. Man kann einfach machen, was man will. Und automatisch Hintergrunddings. Und hier und das ist einfach genau so. Oh, uh, that guy's schizophrenic right now. He's driving. Wait, so he really thinks he's driving? Yep, everything's real to him. What's he doing now? He just stepped into an elevator. Hey guys, recently I've been doing a lot of Minecraft new bike shots and the hardest part was always camera tracking. Now before I would actually camera track, like I was camera tracking a live action footage. Weil, was ich gemacht habe, ist hier sind überall so kleinere... Finger für Front, Mitte, Hinten und so weiter und die kannst du hier reinhauen und wenn ich jetzt hier drauf drücke Yeah, I, I would definitely use this plus um, duplicating stuff, like only make one corner and then can uh, rotate it around the cursor by 90 degrees and then repeat. To celebrate this milestone, I've decided to create a Discord server for the community.
Und dann bewegen die sich so ein bisschen mit. So. Hier mit. with a lot of people and it's graphics for example back then I watched like this video here for 4 million views and so on and I was like wow that's crazy I think this year Space Chaser was the first video I watched from it and now here I actually helped like two buildings of the village I did and this is like yeah it's it's like you were getting that I see the progress even though like numbers and so on are not crazy full full focus learning I watch so many tutorials I learn so so much it's it's like a weird feeling because it, it feels like that I haven't really learned something new I think this is like learning a language because like after a year of speaking the language it feels like you you know the same thing but suddenly you speak the language but it doesn't feel special anymore and the same way it feels like basically I can visualize my thoughts and it feels like I haven't learned anything but if I go from the beginning from down here even though visually you, you might even say that this year is really but six months ago but I'm telling you this year was like so bad and I had no idea of nothing I just made everything look as good as possible but even the hug you might say oh you, you already could do these things five months ago but uh, no now I'm, I'm only starting to, to get in there like textures and all, all the shortcuts and so on Of course there are also coming new, new updates. Six months ago there, there weren't these things and the geonodes and so on are pretty insane. They are getting a bit better but there is still a lot of potential for making a Harry Potter short movie to just make the spells and so on in geonodes. This actually could be pretty cool. And then just comparing it to the actual movies where everything is like 2D and the you resolve and so on. Like the actors were just like boom, boom, boom. Then you make a 2D effect on top of it but actually making everything in 3D so that the camera can go around the spell and that you actually see that the spell is 3D. This this has quite of potential. Making high quality content. This is I think what will push it long term wise a lot. This is like motivating that like now I have the mindset of I already invested that much so now I, I push to success. Now I, I won't stop. Whereas if, if I only would have spent like a couple of minutes on it, it would be easier to let it go. Uh, but yeah, this this were a couple of thoughts I will do now. Precisely now, like I, I literally will open now Blender and, and do uh, a couple Minecraft things and so on, realistic. So the first screen that you're going to end up on whenever you launch Ember Gen is the home screen 